Now, my mic's acting up on my webcam, so I have to use this one, all right? Let's just get into it. Look. The birds win. That's great. But all I want to know is what the hell was that? The defensive performance. What kind of defensive performance was that? All right? Against possibly are the worst offense in the NFL. The Browns have just actually got something going with Josh Gordon and some other people. So what the hell is that? Look, the Giants, I don't think, have even scored 29 points at all this whole year in one game. Or was it 29? The last score? Whatever. They scored their highest against our defense. Now, our defense played bad against Seattle, played bad against the Rams, okay? Had a couple of key moments, just like this game. Had a couple of key moments... Like a pick. But that's uncalled for, man. Eli Manning had all day to throw. Then he got sacked a couple times. I don't know if the defense is smelling themselves, like thinking that they're better than who they are. Or if Wentz made them better by picking up third downs, those big third downs to keep the offense on the field, to make the other person's defensive. Th- you get what I'm trying to say? Or was Wentz and our offense getting such a big lead that was forcing defenses or was forcing offenses to pass and our defense was just picking people off and just getting all this stuff. Now, look, they need to shape stuff up and fix it up quickly because if you cannot do this in the playoffs, okay? Now, I will say this, all right? I'm not going to get too over, you know, over the top freaking out about everything. Like, oh, my God, the Eagles, you know, the defense sucks, isn't that? The defense isn't playing well at all, okay? But I will say this. All right. Earlier this year, we played the Giants. And it was down to the wire the same way. Sterling Shepard had a big game. And he had another big one today. And at the time, the Giants were 0-2. You turn back now, our defense just got... Played terrible that game and this game. All right. But we still played great against the Chiefs. They played great against the Redskins in the beginning of the year. And then they went into week three against the Giants. And I remember that game vividly because we we won by a 61-yard field goal. But I remember defense getting shredded left and right, left and right, left and right. They got three picks on Eli, but still left and right defense was getting shredded. And I remember texting my friend who's a Giants fan and saying, look, be happy you got your first win. Congratulations. We ain't winning shit this season. If we cannot stop this putrid offense with Doug, with Penn, Ben McAdoo as a coach, Eli Manning playing terrible, and the O-line sucks, we can't even get a hold of Eli Manning. We couldn't, the, the first Giants game. And I was pissed. Then we came out, defense started bowling out week four, week five, week six, week seven, week eight, week nine, whatever, almost all the weeks. All right? So I'm not going to look too much into this, okay? Because they did the same exact thing earlier this year against the Giants. Do you know why? Because against these corners, see the Giants, they got they know the game plan now against our defense. It's quick slants, quick passes, dink and dunk, get the ball out quickly. When you throw slants and short, you know, short passes against these corners, you're going to win. Nine times out of ten. I'm not saying this secondary is that bad, but this defense relies on our pass rush. So when it relies on our pass rush, you get the ball out quick enough with a quick slant, the corners ain't going to be able to hold up like that. The Giants did it earlier this year to us, and now they're doing it again now to us. Right? So, I'm not trying to look too much into this, because the same thing happened earlier this excuse me, earlier this year with the, with the Giants, and they, beat, and they, they lost... Just like they lost today. So I give the defense one more week to prove to me. And this is against the Raiders now. At home. Christmas day. Christmas night. Sorry. That you, this defense, can actually not be exposed. Their defense, it was just, it's just the Giants. Because the past two games has been that way. Okay? So... Let's just see what happens next week on the defense. On the offensive side of the ball, I was hell. I was hell, man. I was mad impressed. Let's put it that way. Hella impressed. Sorry. <laughs> Nick Foles has four touchdowns, passed for well three hundred yards, almost three hundred. He had a solid game. 
I'm not going to say great phenomenal this and that because there was some throws that he missed. There was one where he was running. It was third and eight. He could have ran for the first down, but he decided to throw it. But he already pump faked it like this and then went like this. It, like, he had the ball like this. He was like, and they tried throwing it and threw it right over Ertz's head. It got tipped. Um, he had a solid game, though, okay? For a, guy to come, got, for a guy to come in and just play, he played really well. Now, I'm not going to look too much into it because... I mean, people could say, well, oh, well, Wince, if Wince says that you would love, listen, dude, I'm just saying that the Giants don't have their best corners out there. They do have backups, you know, this and that. I get it. They have second string, third string guys in there now because, you know, Janoris Jenkins out for the year, blah, blah, blah. So Foles just needs to keep playing this well. The offense needs to play well, though. We need to run the ball more. We ran a little bit, we ran a, a decent amount today. Um, I'm going to go back and re reevaluate that game, go back and rewatch the offense because uh, Foles didn't have four TDs. Al show, I mean, Nelson Aguilar straight up mossed this one dude. This one freaking corner they got. I mean, I don't know how the hell he caught this damn ball. Aguilar had a phenomenal game today. Okay, now he dropped one ball, I think, and it was like, damn it, why would you drop that? Then he responded with, with, a, with a tough, tough, tough catch on the third down right up the middle. And somehow, I guess him and Foles have a big rapport with each other. I mean, I, Foles never played with him. You know, at least in 2013 with Foles were here, he played with Ertz from 2014. 13 and 14, he played with with Ertz. So I thought Ertz would have an even bigger game than, he, than he's had, you know, than he had this week. That's what I thought. Um, Alshon had a TD, of course. Ertz did have a TD. Trey Burton had a TD. Trey Burton's on third string tight end, and he had five TDs. Five. He has five touchdowns on the season. He's a third string tight end. I personally think he's as good, if not better, than Ertz. Now, I think... Ertz is more physical, even though I know he, he as soon as you, you hit him, he t goes to the ground. I'm talking about in terms of maybe blocking and, like, big-wise. But Burton has more speed, probably the same kind of hands, if not better. I like Burton a lot. They got to re-sign him and keep him here, and I want to run more two tight end sets and let him get on the field more. Look how wide open he got, dude. Okay? So, I like that. But Foles had a really solid game, really showed me something like, damn, that's pretty good right there. But this team did fall into a 20 – what was it, 20 to 7 hole? And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? I'm like, I thought we lost the game. I'm like, dude, there's no way. Because this defense couldn't stop their offense. I'm like, there's no way that our defense, I'm um, sorry, our offense is going to be able to respond and have a shootout. No way with Nick Foles we're going to be able to do it. Once Darby had the interception, okay, we went back out on offense. Foles threw a TD, all right, which set it up. Then we had a uh, block punt, which set up, what was it, a field goal or a touchdown? I can't remember right now. I'm so, I'm so freaking whatever. Um, once we, once that happened, it was like, all right, I saw that, and then I seen us make him go three and out, bang, three and out, bang, three and out, bang. In my head, I went, they ain't scoring again at all this game. This defense has finally clicked because they start out sluggish down there where they just started clicking. They got the interception. Almost Darby almost had a pick freaking six right there. He was freaking flying on the freaking field. Um, the, the lock point, I'm like, okay, they ain't scoring again, the Giants. Because I think the Eagles now woke up. But that was not the case. We had a really good second quarter. You know, it, the game really pissed me off, though. You had three or four dropped interceptions. Eli Manning could have had picked off three or four times. You could have ended the game literally before the game ended with that fourth and goal, whatever, uh, stop that we made it could have ended way before that when uh bradham could have had an interception was literally thrown to him darby dropped the one even though he called one uh and McC mcleod called one i mean should have called one he dropped one that was right the hell there okay that that's just facts um so we just got to clean this stuff up now look i'm not saying to you that you know this or that look this is all i'm saying Things need, need to get cleaned up for the playoffs quickly. Defense needs to get needs to get you know cleaned up. The penalties are terrible, and the discipline, just sloppy football on the defensive side. The offense is a little sloppy, okay. But I'm just saying, and we need to bring a little more help on Big V side because he got like he got pen uh, one play he got blown up by Olivia Vernon. Foles, I think he fumbled the ball or he got almost strip sacked, whatever the hell it was, but he recovered it. So, then you bring more help on Big V side. All right. They need to clean up this sloppy football play and go back to what they've been playing for the past couple weeks. Like they're running like a well oiled machine. Okay. Because they played sloppy against Seattle, played sloppy against the Rams. 
in this game they played sloppy. I understand last week. I understand the Rams scoring that much because they're the second best scoring offense in the NFL. But I don't understand the freaking Giants doing that. All right. I heard Malcolm Jenkins in the locker room after the game last week saying, it don't matter how we win. If it's sloppy, it's bad. A win's a win. That is true. That is true. But this can't happen in the playoffs. You can't go every single game and win by the skin of your teeth now. Okay? We were blowing cats out. Now we're going to the skin of our teeth. No, no, no. This can't happen. But um, I got a little bit of confidence in Foles. I like what I've seen from him and, and the wide receiver core. Him and Aguilar. I don't know. I have a connection like I told you. It's like, wow. Um, but back to what I was saying. So we dropped a couple of interceptions. And then we just gave them a TD on the, uh, what do you call it? We literally stopped them three and out. Put them in a punting situation. And we got freaking offsides. Or whatever the hell, neutral shooter. If something happened, it was false. It was a flag. Gave him a first down, and literally on that first down, next thing you know, they throw a slant to the guy uh, King. He takes it, boom, down all the way down to the thing, gets seven points off it. I go, these son of a bitches are so damn lucky. So that that's the sloppiness stuff we can't do, especially when you get into the playoffs. You can't have that type of stuff where, oh, oh, Max and I messed up on a punt. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's only Giants. It's only week 15. No, no, no. It's one or done in there. It's You do or die. You, you lose the game, you're done. There's no, okay, next week when you get in the playoffs, okay? So you got to clean this stuff up. They, this type of stuff we're not going to be able to get away with. But let's go, Birds. Let's see what they do next week. I'm going to relook at this game. Defense performance was just terrible, just awful. But uh, let's go, Birds. Peace.